Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. We are in the Tail Race Canal on the opening day of striper season. Around here we call it they call we call them rockfish. So Greg's back there putting the devil horses on the line. I'm going under the 52 overpass right now. We're in a no wait zone. So hoping to catch some keeper stripers today, or rockfish as we call them. Water temperature is about 76 degrees. We do have a northeast wind that's blowing pretty good. Um, fortunately, it looks like it's blowing straight down the canal, so that'll be going in our favor. So we'll be heading to the dam. to the dam and we got on the line can't fish past that so but the water's not running this is our surrounding not sure if that boat over there was trying to rush to get here to the line because it's almost time for them to start up the hydros to let water out of the lake yeah right on the other side of that and that water does come up well, let's see right there is the locks so what they do is they'll open those doors and boats can come in and go up into the lake so that water it fills almost to the top of those black doors so, but yeah i bet it's bouncy on that lake today with these northeast winds I'm going to see if I can set this camera up so we can catch some fishing in action. I hadn't tried that before, so let's see how it works. Well, they just sounded the alarm that they're getting ready to turn on the hydros. Let's see if I can hear that clicking sound before they turn them on. letting the water out of the locks right now because we've got a couple of boats that are wanting to go into the lake and there might be some in the locks that are wanting to come down here. We usually like to go along this side here. And, oh, did you hear it? I heard a pop. There's one. At the bottom here, right at the water line, you'll be up. There's another one. You'll be able to see it, the water start bubbling up. Got some fish wait. I mean, there's another one. I must be really going to release some water. I talked to my dad a couple days ago, and he said they had already released a foot of water. I see it coming out. You can see it a little bit right in here. I haven't seen it bubble up at the end though, but you can see it coming down. Starting to see some bubbles right in that area, right in there. Yep, it's starting to come out. Using those devil horns. He's a rockfish slayer. Usually out does me. You can see the water starting to come out even more now. Alright, time for me to put this thing down. I'm going to try to set it up where we can 
video. Oh girl, that's not a good idea to try to go off the side of the boat. Now that they're releasing water, that current's getting ready to get really strong. Yeah, it's not good. Especially with my life jacket on. So, alright, let me set this up, see if I can get some video of us catching fish. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> he, got, he got in my line. Oh, he did get in your line. He did. He this started taking it. Too. So I kept it, I kept the bale open so he could get out and he did. Darn water birds. First time that's ever happened. y'all the locks are open now the boat's gone in i got distracted <laughs> trying to get to yes man i'm gonna come out of the lake One on this side and one on the other side. They're calling each other. Yep. Listen. Right there. Yep. There they are. Yep. Both of them. Bald eagles are right there. There's two of them. Oh, they always land in that tree. That one tree. Hear them? Hopefully you can hear them. There's the bald eagle. Another one somewhere around here. Here he is right there. Here they both are. The cat him. Oh good, he's gonna sit right there on the power line. Another one's over here. Oh, he just left. 
You know what it is? They're trying to catch some fish too. Isn't that beautiful? Oh! He caught, he caught a fish! He caught our fish! <laughs> Way to go, dude! <laughs> you better run! What was that that he caught? I know it had a V tail. Where'd the other one go? I don't know. Oh, there he is. He's up there. Right at the right. See where my finger is? Right up there in the tip. Oh, yeah. sky. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I I guess I need to get fishing again <laughs> before he eats all of our food. <laughs> all right. Uh, we've tried on opening day without any success. Um, Kathy got a couple of strikes. I didn't get anything. She got one from a little bass, one from a decent sized rockfish. I'm not sure it was a 26 inch keeper size, but it was probably in the 20 inch range. Um, but a good solid strike, but it didn't connect. Um, and whether this is, you know, just they're not here right now. Um, it is full moon last night. That may have played a role in it. Um, sometimes people say high pressure systems have something to do with it. And what'd you say, Kev? We weren't holding our mouth right. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dad. One of my dad's favorite expressions when we wasn't catching fish. Not holding your mouth right. So, um, so today apparently we weren't holding our mouth right, and uh, we didn't catch any fish, but we had some fun. Yeah. Got out in the sun. Yeah. Got, got some good vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So we're going to pack it in yeah. and head, it, head home. Yeah, we might try again in about a week or so. Yeah. So. We're going to let these tides calm down a little bit. Yep. Even though this is all fresh water where we're at, um, it's all the Cooper River, and a little bit further down is salt water. So, so it's all impacted by the tide. It's yeah. Less so up here. Yep. Okay. So, thanks for tuning in. Sorry right. we didn't show you any fish. Yep. We'll Bye. do better next time. <laughs> Bye.